Today we're going to be doing a watercolor of a lilac based on Mary Cassatt's painting called Lilacs in a Window. So the first step, this is watercolor paper. We want it to be the tall way. And you're going to write your name and your class code and turn your paper over. Then with the same pencil, we're going to draw a stem and then on the sides, some shorter stems. And then the leaves of a lilac are heart shapes. So I'm actually going to turn my paper to make it a little bit easier. I'm going to draw just one big heart here and another one over here. You could also draw them upside down so that their the point is up that way. Okay, and then for our guideline for our flower, it is a shape of a rounded triangle that's kind of, I don't know, sort of candy corn shape. Then we have some water and in your caddies, you should have droppers. And to use a dropper, you put it in the liquid and you squeeze the air out and then you let it go and it fills with liquid. We're gonna take water only and probably three to four droppers full of water, drop it all over your paper. Then a large brush, we have this size and this size and it doesn't matter which kind. I'm gonna use this bigger one. And you're going to dip it in water and then all that water that you've dropped all over your paper, we're spreading it around. It's just an easy way to get a lot of water on your paper. Okay, we need our whole paper wet and the way that you can tell if it's wet is if you lift it up and it's shiny. So give it the shiny test. We don't want any dull areas. Then with your dropper, you're going to start with yellow. And the reason we're going to start with yellow is so we don't contaminate the yellow with the darker colors. So say if I dipped in green and then went to yellow, my yellow is not going to be yellow anymore. So we're going to start with yellow, get some yellow in your dropper. And on the lower half of your paper, you'll see how quickly I'm doing this. this your paper has to be wet for this to work. Okay, so I did yellow, then green, also on the lower half, just a little bit. It's kind of an intense color. Also blue on the top, just a few drops of blue, and some turquoise, which actually looks blue, but it's not really. And any extra paint just squirt back into that color. Okay, so our paper's wet, but we need color in these white areas too. So with your wet large brush, you're just going to scoot this color around into the areas that aren't don't have any color in them yet. I'm actually going to rinse before I go down to this yellow because I want it to stay kind of yellow, but it doesn't matter. You can get green up here. You can get some blue down here. Just trying to make it not be one whole solid color. Okay. And then you guys have paper towels. Mine has been used, but that's okay. You're going to scrunch up your paper towel. 
and you're gonna blot this until it looks dry. And how could we tell that it looks dry? Because it's not gonna be shiny anymore. Fine. If it's not soaking up anymore, find a clean spot on your paper towel. Okay, and then we're gonna give it the, the test. We're gonna lift it up and see if it's still shiny in it. It is in a couple spots, so I'm just gonna dab that. And then also at this time, if you lift up your paper and see that you made a really big watery paint mess, just dab up that extra liquid with your paper towel. We should have in our caddies, maybe they're on, in your caddies, maybe they're here, maybe they're in your water. It's a sponge. And we want the sponge to be wet. So dip it in the water and wring out most of the water. Not all of it, we still want it to be wet but not dripping, if that makes sense. Okay, and then I'm going to only dip my corner of my sponge into violet paint. And I'm gonna do that quickly so it doesn't soak up all of that color because then the friends at your table won't have any. And then with the corner of that sponge dipped in that violet color. I'm going to fill in with my triangle guideline. You don't want a straight line on the edges because lilacs are kind of fluffy and not even. And then also lilacs aren't all purple. So I'm also going to add some magenta in places. And also just a little blue. That blue is a very intense color, remember? So you don't need a lot. Okay. So we want this to be wet but not completely puddled. So if there's a lot of puddles, you can lightly blot them, but I do want this to be what? In your caddies, you have these little cups. We're gonna use these little cups to scoop our rice. So grab a scoop of rice, and you're gonna sprinkle your rice just on your purple flower. Lilac. Okay. Next step is if you have a little bit of rice in your way of your stem and your leaves, you can gently scoot it aside. We don't want to disturb the rice because it won't do its little magic trick. Okay, in your caddies, you have these small square brushes. We're not gonna use water. We're just gonna go straight into the brown paint. And with that brown paint, you're going to paint your stem and your side, side stems. I don't really know what those are called. Okay. And then I'm gonna rinse my brush. You notice how dark my water is. Um, and that's fine. In watercolor, it doesn't really matter if your water is dirty. Okay. And then I'm gonna fill in my leaves with green paint. Just a solid green. But use enough paint so your leaf stays wet for the next step. All right. 
And then also in your caddies, you guys have these um, pencils that are watercolor pencils and they're green. And watercolor pencils work with water. Um, so our leaves are wet, we're gonna add some detail to our leaves. So you can add the vein down the center and the veins and the leaves. If your leaf is too dry, this step won't work because the pencil needs some water to work. You can outline your leaves too if you want. Oops. A little out of line there. Now if you notice that your stem is kind of feathering, it's totally fine. If it's getting way out of control, use your paper towel and blot it dry and then you can repaint it after it's if after it's dried. But watercolor should run, so don't